Morning guys, it's Gavin and Nicky here and uh, Mark's asked us, like many others have over the last six months, to share a little bit more about how we found time during lockdown, both back in March and I guess more relevant in the last kind of 10 days, 12 days or so. And for us, being a, being a family with two young kids, it's definitely had its challenges, mm. mainly around the, the initiation of homeschooling and everything that has thrown at us from having a, what was a six year old and a three year old at the time, different learning styles and really finding different ways to get them to engage with a new way of learning whilst both learning ourselves at the same time, what exactly it is we had to do as well. But I guess over the, the course of the, the lockdown, we've strengthened as a family. We've Definitely. really appreciated our, our time together and we spent a lot of time out on walks in the in the glorious weather we really had back in April and May and really got to understand one another a lot more I think with the, the kids, their relationships grew stronger for for what was the first three months anyway. They were their own best friends. They had there wasn't any other one other people to really be socialising with. So it was great for us to see their relationship develop. Yeah. Especially over them early months too. Added to that, church shut down from a face to face basis <laughs> and that was quite a daunting. Yeah, quite sure how that was gonna work for us, did we? Yeah. That was daunting for everyone at the start in terms of how do we how do we adapt quickly in a world which has been thrown into chaos if you like. And actually within a sh number of short weeks we had our online services, we had Zoom, which was a new concept for everyone, never mind the church. And everyone's taken to it like a duck to water. And in some respects, we're probably, probably we feel like the church is definitely closer to us now mm -hmm. than it's maybe ever been before without that physical interaction. Latterly, until even just the last few weeks, I've been involved in with the worship bands and on a Sunday morning yeah. and that's been great to have a little bit of normality being in that church building and that kind of safe environment but still being able to worship through song and through the service out on a wider stage through Facebook, yeah. through YouTube etc as well but it's so for me personally the lockdown this time definitely isn't as daunting because of what we learned in the first six months mm -hmm. and actually even we done our first day of homeschooling today and I, I'd go as far as saying that there was a there was a nice flow to it and we probably all understand each other a wee bit better in terms of how how we all work together too and yeah. we have we have a laugh as well don't we yeah I think there's a lot to be thankful for as well like back in March we didn't know what was ahead of us um I think everyone felt the same, but we were all kind of in the same boat. But God had went ahead of us, and um, things like we were both working, but our shifts um, worked so that we didn't need to use childcare, um, and we could do it between us. Um, and that was a big kind of burden off our something that weight off our mind, wasn't it? Yeah, I think um, I think we've we've been fortunate enough to both be working throughout the last nine months. Mm -hmm. But we've also been fortunate enough to to be in jobs where we've been able to balance when we work and how we work in terms yeah. of childcare to to mean we're not burdening our we're not burdening other people with our kids or we're not having that additional stress as well. So that's been really that's been really good for us. Yeah, definitely. And I think the kids' zones as well for the kids has been great. Um, with Jenny and Irene um, doing them and the the kids have been enjoying um, and getting involved with them. So yeah. So yeah. So I guess this is a very, a very brief kind of sharing with you all, but we've been blessed by we've been blessed by the time we've had together as a family. We miss yeah. being we miss being with everyone in the church building, like yeah. physically, but it's great to be able to interact with everyone on a on a new a new way of doing so as well yeah. through Zoom and just through voice calls on WhatsApp and video messages so and to be fair the kids the kids are pretty coyed up on how to do that more than us sometimes so <laughs> it's it's always good fun so yeah so i guess uh, to 
cut long story short, it's uh, it's great just to I've shared how we found it. I know everyone's got their own different experiences, but uh, mm -hmm. we'll get we're all gonna get through it. And there's light then the tunnel. God's got the path set for us, and yeah. we've got to pray and trust that we'll all be back together soon. I just wanted to share with you a Bible verse that I read um, this morning and I just felt that it was appropriate um, for all of us to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and that was, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth and that's Psalm 121 verse 2. God bless you all.